Today we're going to do a product review on something very important to us and okay. it has to do with home security. Which in our case is RV security because this is our home, we live in it. Full time. That's right. We're going to cover what we picked, why we picked it, all the pieces involved, also how we installed it and how we've been using it for the past few weeks. That's right. Roll the intro. We did lots of research on this topic because we wanted a good security system for our RV, aka lots of Googling and reading and watching YouTube videos. Yep. After our extensive research on this topic, we did reach out to Ring to see if they wanted to partner with us and they said, yay! Yeah, thank you Ring. Full disclosure, Ring did send us the 10 piece base kit for free. Mm -hmm. This little guy right here which we'll talk about. In addition to this kit, we also purchased quite a few add-ons to complete our system. And we're gonna go over that and how these all fit together. If you're new to our channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, those things really do help us quite a bit. And also check out our website, changinglanesrv.com. We have blog posts there that you won't find the information here on YouTube. That's a true story. Mm -hmm. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Right, that's how we interact with you guys. So reach out to us, say hi. Send us pictures of your dogs and kids and RVs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, on to the good stuff. RV security. Yes, yes. When we were in our sticks and bricks house, our old home, we always had a security system. So we knew we wanted a security system going on the road. Absolutely. We didn't know what that looked like or how we were going to do it. Or if it was even possible. Yeah. One thing that differentiates RV security with home security is the monitoring. There's all kinds of places out there selling home security DIY kits, right? Mm -hmm. But not all of them have self-monitoring and that's key for RV security because the way security systems work, you can't have monitoring on your system because you're moving every week or two. Right, you have to have a permanent address right. for that to work. Because it's all integrated with the police and 911 and yeah. they don't want to have to uh, dispatch somebody to your mailing address when it's a thousand miles away. Right, it makes sense. Yeah, so that was a big key for us was getting a system that was self-monitored mm -hmm. and that we can monitor and manage and do everything remotely. Ring does offer like a full blown monitoring service that you would use in your home. Right, so while we're gonna focus on the RV side and self-monitoring, if you're seeing this and you want to use it for your home it's an awesome system and it's only 10 bucks a month for full monitoring with no contract so we're gonna let you in on a little secret mm -hmm. we've had a security system for a while that we just did not like we would get asked questions about it and we wouldn't disclose the fact that we don't use it because we never turn it on never. because it's not so it's it was kind of like our baggage doors that we never locked yeah. <laughs> so it was yes. it was a useless system it was a door chime it was all it was it was yeah let's talk a little bit about the requirements that are likely common for RVers mm -hmm. that they want in a security system yeah obviously the requirements in an RV are a little bit different besides self monitor we wanted a DIY install we wanted wireless. I don't want to have to be running wires all over this place. If you watched any of our videos, you know I'm comfortable with wiring. I didn't want to wire all these things. There are too many projects on the list already. Yeah. Uh, we needed door sensors to monitor our doors. We needed a camera to watch Daisy. Yeah, that and, was important. <laughs> you know, because we want to see what kind of party she's throwing while we're okay, going. Look at her over there. Just like... <laughs> We wanted a motion sensor for the garage, which we're going to go over as to why. We wanted one that would connect using our, our existing internet system. Mm -hmm. This thing doesn't come with internet. You do have to have some way for this thing to connect, so watch our internet video. We also wanted to be able to control this thing remotely from our phones. Mm -hmm. Obviously, see the video, that kind of stuff. We wanted to be able to arm it, disarm it. Disarm it is a big one for us because if the alarm does go off and we get notified, Who's gonna shut it off for poor Daisy sitting here with a siren oh, going on? Oh, I know, that would so. be terrible. That was one of the biggest fears that we had about our um, RV security systems. We also got some bonus features that weren't requirements for us then, but they are now. Yeah, things that w once we got the system and realized they were available. Like smoke detectors yeah. and CO2 and smoke stuff. Smoke detectors, flood, water leak sensors, mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's Very the, important stuff. That's right. So everything pretty much starts with their base kit. Right, and they come in different sizes. We got this 10 piece kit, boom. And this is gonna have everything you need to kind of get started and then you can 
put options on a la carte, which is kind of nice because mm -hmm. if you want to get just a base system to start and then add stuff later, you can do that. Yeah. They have different sizes of base systems also. It's going to be more customizable that way. Yeah. I mean, obviously if you're in a house with lots of doors, you need more door sensors, mm -hmm. you might need more motion sensors. You're going to have to customize it. The key that comes with the base kit is the base station. This guy right here, the ring systems use what's called Z-Wave, which is a mesh network. I won't go bore you with the technology. Here's where I start to tune out a little bit. <laughs> but it basically means that each component only has to be close to its next nearest component. Everything doesn't have to reach the base station. So this is the heart of the whole system and everything communicates through this. This is the only thing that has any wires. It has a power cord. That's all it has. That's all you need. That's not very many wires. No. It has battery backup, as you can see. It's still running. Right now, I don't know if you've seen the blue light. So <laughs> I think it's can still. See the, blue light. Uh, the base station can connect to your internet system, either wired, and then, in which case, you'll have two wires, or wireless. So we just connect wireless. Uh, I, you know, I may wire it up later, but for now, it's just wireless. But everything else is actually battery powered. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is you get alerts on the battery levels, right? Every component monitors its own battery levels. You'll get notified if the battery gets low. And everything either has rechargeable batteries, like the keypads you can plug in. The camera has a removable rechargeable battery. How do they get notified? I don't know. It pops up on your phone. Oh, okay. You can configure this thing to the nth degree. Mm -hmm. You know, when that door opens, we get a chime. When the back door opens, we get a chime. But we don't want to chime every time we walk in the office. Yeah. Little things like that, you can program each component in the system to do what you want it to do. You're also going to get some combination of door sensors, aka contact sensors, a motion sensor or two or three, depending on your kit, uh, and one or more keypads. You'll also, with most kits, get a range extender if you need it. Probably not going to need it in an RV. But we plugged it in anyway, why not? We're gonna cover each one of those items that he just went over as we walk through the installation. Yeah, we're gonna show you each piece that we put in, where we put it, how it was installed, talk a little bit about the install, so you can see it's not a big deal. Let's go take a look at our installation and talk about each component. Let's do it. So like I said, one wire just plugs right in here, like so. It does have ethernet connection. And I'm going to eventually mount this up on the wall up there, but for now, it fits perfectly right there. Indeed. So a couple of reasons that we chose the office slash garage slash guest suite for the alarm. A, we always lock Daisy in the main area there so that way she doesn't have her ears blasted off when this thing goes off. Uh, two, we usually have our back doors open and it'll be more audible outside to our neighbors and such if the alarm does go off. Additionally, it's in close proximity to our network equipment, so I still might run an ethernet wire to our Wi-Fi ranger right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. So, yeah, that's why we chose the office for that. Let's go talk about some of the components that come with the base kit and how you install them. We have to go all the way all over way. here. Over here. So this is one of the main pieces. It's a contact sensor. It's really pretty simple. These things are super easy to install. In fact, they're all really easy and they're all very similar. They have a separate back piece that you can mount either using two-sided tape or screw them in. And then you just pop them right on. These things don't have to be perfect as you can see. These have quite a bit of a gap right here. You'll just want to test it to make sure that when you move your contact sensor out of the way that it actually sets it off. In an RV, I would probably recommend screwing the pieces in because as you know, Yes. down the road and you're basically your home is subject to an earthquake every week or two so i went ahead and screwed these in uh more permanently and i don't have to worry about them falling out that's right we've got some on our three season patio doors and also on our front door so each three <laughs> all three of our entry doors are covered so additionally with every kit comes at least one motion sensor Ours came with two, but we only needed one right now. We may put the other one somewhere. This is a good example of how all of these systems are. They have a back plate that you can mount, and then you just pop the device right on. You'll notice on here, it's got screw holes and angles here. That's because this can be mounted flush like it is here, or you could put it into a corner, and it'll mount corner to corner like this. And people ask us about this a lot, is do we leave our patio down? And we do most of the time. 
So the nice thing about this is along with the door sensors, if somebody were to cut through our back doors and just walk through the screen or break a window or whatever, this is gonna pick them up. This also helps us feel a little more secure at night because our patio's down all night and we can't hear what's going on back here with our door closed. So when we arm the system, we arm this one even when we're home, uh, that way the, this room is covered. Home and armed. Tara found out about that this morning. <laughs> I did, I did. Which is why we put another alarm pad right here to remind us. But I didn't even see it this morning. <laughs> I walked in and I saw the, the box on the wall turn bright red and I said, <laughs> and went to the other keypad that's up here. All the way to the front of the house. All the way I sprinted. Yeah. Our kit came with two keypads. We weren't really sure where we were going to put the second keypad. Mm -hmm. The bedroom kind of made sense, but after the second or third morning of walking out here and setting off the alarm, uh, we decided let's put a keypad right here as a reminder. It's it. <laughs> that, that we have that. The cool thing about this is if we do want a keypad in the bedroom, we just go grab one online and throw it in and program it to the system. It's super simple. It, it makes us feel much more comfortable knowing this whole back garage area mm -hmm. is covered. Now, if we have guests, we will have to disable that. Yeah. That's pretty simple too. Yep. So this is obviously a very key component to any alarm system, keypad. This thing is wireless, just like every other component. The mount, of course, can be two side tape or screwed. I screwed it in so it's nice and secure. It's like most alarm systems, you've got uh, off and then you've got home and away. Those are the modes. And you can program each mode component by component. Another neat thing that I think is different about this versus old systems I've had in the past is you don't program your code into the keypad or into the system directly. You add users via the app and they can each have their own code. Additionally, you can program in guest codes. Uh, and those guest codes will only be good for keypad and that's it. They can't, you know, modify any other systems. And it's cool because if you, you can do it all via the app. And if you decide, oh, um, I'm out to dinner. I can't let the dog out. I need to call my neighbor. You can go in there and put in a temporary code for your neighbor. They can come in, let your dog out, and you can immediately remove it. That's really very, cool. It's very flexible. I like that. Let's go take a look at the next thing. We have to go really far. This thing smoke slash CO detector. There are two different ways you can have your smoke and CO detectors integrated into your ring system. First is this way. This is a fully integrated unit. And the second way is if you say you've got 12 smoke detectors in your house and you don't want to replace all of them, you can put what's called a listener in. And I'll show you where that is. Okay. The second way you can integrate smoke and CO detection into your ring alarm is with this guy right here. This is essentially a listener. It doesn't have a clue how to detect smoke or CO or propane, but it doesn't matter. All it does is listen for your alarm to go off and then it essentially acts as a proxy. And this is a perfect example how this is a great option for an RV. When we were looking for ways to integrate our system, it was like a $5 difference between replacing the smoke detector and adding one of these guys. So for our smoke detectors, I went ahead and replaced both of them and bought a third one. So we've got a smoke slash CO detector in our bedroom, in here in the living room, and also in the garage. This guy here is a propane detector. There are no self-contained integrated solutions for propane detection. So we got the listener, and you, you configure this and you set it right next to your, your uh, whatever your alarm is, and you walk through it and configure it, and that's it. So now we have smoke and CO detection in four different places and propane detection here. So if any of those things alert, it sets off our ring alarm and we, we get notified about it. Super cool. Super cool. So the next component in our tour is this guy. That was enthusiastic. <laughs> this is a flood free sensor. Didn't come with it, but once we saw it was an option, we picked up a few. It does what it says. It detects floods and freezes. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> But the big thing is for our beers is the flood part, right? You know, you're away, your sink starts leaking, your toilet starts leaking or whatever. You program one of these to the system, you pop it under your sink and it alerts you when you have a flood. So we've got three of them. We'll probably add some more. I mean, you know, yeah. they're, I think they're like 35 bucks a piece. Again, don't quote us on these prices because prices can change, mm -hmm. but 
got one under the sink. I'm going to put one maybe behind the toilet. One is definitely going to go in the basement behind mm -hmm. our Nautilus system where yes. the wet bay is. Because yes. that's where most of the problems can occur. Mm -hmm. The uh, free sensor part of it is uh, below 40 degrees. If it goes below 40, uh, it'll alert you. And that isn't as important to us except for maybe in the basement. The ring system does alert you when power goes off, which is mm -hmm. cool. It'll, it'll tell you, hey, the base station is currently on backup. So we know at least that the power goes off. We know we need to get home because if it's a hot day, it heats up in here pretty fast. The last component we're going to talk about on this tour de components. Tour de security. <laughs> is this guy. We elected to get a black camera, so it's kind of hidden up there. I like the placement of it because it, we can see here, we can see Daisy, no matter where she is in here, just because that's the main reason we got it, was so we could watch our stupid dog. Oh, <gasps> She's not stupid! Daisy. She's got a brain the size of a peanut. Daisy's not <laughs> stupid. Daisy's smart. The main reason we got it was to watch our wonderful animal. That's right. A little bit about these cameras. They come in black or white, and you can get them in wired or wireless mode. I wanted to obviously opt for wireless because I didn't want to run wires, as we mentioned. I wasn't sure how well it was going to work because one caveat on the cameras, the wireless cameras, is they do require you connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. So if, you're, if you've got a newer system and it only runs five gigahertz, this won't work. Most systems these days, you can connect to 2.4 or the five gigahertz and they're separate radios. The cool thing about this is it's very flexible for mounting. That base part of it, you can kind of see on the back here, you can mount it on a wall, you can mount it on a ceiling, you could put it on a table. It articulates almost every direction. It's got a built-in level to help you mount, mount it level. It's really super flexible. In addition to acting as a camera, this thing will detect motion. So it can sort of act uh, double duty as a motion sensor or a camera. The caveat to that is, I mentioned this is battery powered. If you have it detecting motion, it uses more battery. Just like everything else in all these components, you can configure this thing through the app and you can tell it don't monitor motion do monitor motion you can view this thing live uh, anytime you want and watch your dog or whatever oh there it is <laughs> there's the belly pop for everyone to see so we've been using our ring security system in our rv for about a month now and we really like it it's, it's a great system we do and that actually brings me to a point occasionally we get some comments or questions from viewers wondering about if we possibly have a skewed view on some of these products because we get them for free. We wanna let you guys know that we are never gonna review a product and say it's great if we don't believe that. That's right, everything we review, everything you see in our Amazon store, we use personally mm -hmm. in our everyday lives mm -hmm. and we 100% recommend and stand behind. Yeah, and I think that you, if you've watched enough of our videos, you know that we usually point out the negative stuff too. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to just kind of clear that up because we really do care about the products that we show you guys. And we care about our reputation too, right? I mean, if we start yeah. recommending stuff that sucks, right. you're gonna tell us about it. This product, for example, he did a lot of research and reached out to them because we were that interested in it. We wouldn't have purchased a few hundred dollars in extra devices to go with our security system yeah. if we didn't like it. So in addition to the, the things that we showed you that came with the kit and the things that we added to the kit, there are just all kinds of other options that you have out yeah. there. Obviously the ring doorbell is one of them. Yeah, there's like panic button. Yeah, yeah, you can, so if you wanna have like by your bed, panic button. Yeah. They've got outdoor lights. You've probably seen that on a commercial. Are they motion, they're motion lights, right? They can be motion lights. So the light comes on, the camera's on, you can talk to them. We didn't talk about that. Our, our camera, we can talk to Daisy and really freak her out while we're not home. Yeah, she never responds. She, she never talks back. No, it's weird. <laughs> but you can find all these things on Ring's website which also brings us back to discount. We like discounts. Yeah, we like discounts. That's a benefit of us partnering with companies to do reviews because you usually get a discount. That's true. So use our link down below and you will get a discount. Notice I'm not saying exactly how much <laughs> because it varies based on what you buy. But if you use the link, you should see a discount. If you don't, please let us know. Thanks again to Ring for sending us this system. Yeah, we really like it. It's really gonna be used all the time. Yeah. Don't try to break into our RV. We'll know about it. That's right. This place is monitored <laughs> now. It's super simple. It's flexible. You can put it on any kind of RV. If you have any questions about this, 
please comment below and we'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. See ya. Today we are going bleh, bleh, bleh. No. You gotta not do this. I know, you do it, this. It just, I know, it just, no, it is. It's, it's, it's a mental thing. No, it really itches no, right here. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Actually, hold on, I'll be back. I'll do my best fan of white while you're gone. Uh, outside cameras, panic buttons. It's great. You know. It's great. <laughs> great. <laughs> That's all. Go away. Oh. Tell me what to do. I'm the boss of her. <laughs> we're gonna watch you through our ring monitor. <laughs> Alright, we're good.